Where we're gonna have a 40 inch SID. Um, we are gonna be at the bucky, so we're gonna be at the um, numbers to the right there, because we are gonna use the table bucky so that we can use the grid for the femur. We're gonna use a 14 by 17 cassette, and it's gonna run with the long axis of the femur. So we're gonna be in the bucky um, portrait. We're gonna center um, our femur. There's no real specific centering point for the femur. We just need to have the top of the IR at basis. So that's about right here. And I'm gonna have the centering run right down the patient's leg. Um, we're gonna have the patient rotate their um, limb in about 10 to 15 degrees so that um, we get the greater trochanter and profile and the elongate, elongates the neck. So that's the proximal femur. For the distal femur, we're gonna have our marker here also. For the distal femur, I'm just gonna move the patient up. We need to have the bottom of the IR about two inches below the knee joint. So that's about there. We are gonna have overlap just because of the position um, of our marker. For this one, you're gonna have the patient bring their foot back up so that the knee is in a true AP position. We're going to set a 40 inch SID. We're still going to be using a 14 by 17 cassette, and we still want to keep um, it in a portrait orientation. So we're going to have our patient bend up their knee and kind of relax their leg out to the side. And have them bend up this knee and kind of roll out to the side. That way you're nice and lateral because we want to make sure we have our knee in a lateral um, position. So we're going to start with the proximal femur. And we're kind of looking for the same criteria. So I'm going to cock the tube to go with the um, long axis of the femur. Asis is here, so I want to put the top of my IR at asis. And we're going to go right down um, the knee here. We're going to place our marker on the lateral edge of the patient's anatomy. The distal femur, I'm going to move the patient so that I have a little bit of light. I'm gonna move your light. So that I have a little bit of light um, just past the knee here. So we wanna make sure that we're getting a good lateral knee. So that right there is the positioning for the lateral femur.